हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इन पिटेल बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच इट फर्स्ट टू हैव ए बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओवर दिस वी सक्सेसफुली फाउंड आउट द एब्सोल्यूट ग्रेविटी वैल्यूज ओवर आवर सर्वे एरिया to find the anomalous field that is generated by the density contrast body only certain corrections has to be applied well in last video when i told you that we base corrected the data we actually did apply drift correction which is to nullify the creep of spring inside gravimeter now let's discuss the other corrections which has to be applied the first one is normal or latitude correction this essentially is removing the field due to homogeneous spheroid earth alone about which i explained in last video it is done by using international gravity formula which depends solely on latitude and increases from equator towards the pole the second correction that is applied is altitude or free air correction well as you must know that gravitational field has an inverse square relationship with distance so the gravity field decreases with a rate of 0.3086 mg per km so what we have removed when we applied latitude correction is the field at the surface of spheroid but our observation point is at a height above the mean sea level so we have actually reduced more than we should have as the gravity at the surface of spheroid is more than what it would be at a height above it so by applying free air correction we are actually correcting the latitude correction so in this way the free air correction always becomes positive the third correction is terrain correction this correction is applied to nullify the effect due to adjacent terrains imagine you are conducting your survey on a flat topography then you will not have to apply any terrain correction as there is no local effect but Sometimes there are undulation which has to be removed by one's experience there is no absolute mathematical formula for this but comes with experience the last and the most important one is buger correction till now we have removed the field due to earth and its effect in free air up to a certain height now what remains is the topography above mean sea level this is removed by assuming an infinite slab of thickness that equals to height above sea level and having a density of country rock now the field generated by this is equal to 2 pi rho gh where rho is the density of buger slab and h is the height of it and capital g is the universal gravitational constant and finally even this is removed from our raw data so what we have now is only the field generated by anomalous mass at the buger surface or your observation point after applying all these corrections what we have here is called buger anomaly these corrections are applied to all the data points so if you are taking a gravity anomaly survey across a profile after doing all these corrections after following all these procedure if there is a positive density contrast somewhere below the surface you will get a positive anomaly peak over it Similarly if there is a negative density contrast you will get a negative anomaly trough over the body that is all for today thank you for watching and click the subscribe button for more updates and videos from NPTEL